Okay, let's try this again. Everybody, please come back. I had the wrong orientation on my phone. I thought I had set it before I flipped or after I flipped it, but I apparently I didn't. So I have two back. Hello, Deb. How are you? Hello, Nancy again. <laughs> Crazy. I guess I must be just too excited to to come on. Uh, and talk with you guys and have fun tonight. Hello, Dolores. Thank you for coming back. Okay. So let's get my comments started. See how we're doing. It's not doing anything. Let's try this. So, how's everyone doing? Hello, Sue. Um, has everyone had hot weather today? Probably. Well, I'm not sure why I can't get my comments to come up. <laughs> well, this is crazy. Hello, Jenny. How are you? I'm glad to see everyone. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out of Facebook, go back into Facebook, you know, because whenever you call for tech support, they say, oh, just reboot. That's always the answer, right? So I'll just reboot. And we'll see if it works. Hmm. So is everyone having a good day? Glad this evening's going well. I hope it is for everyone. Mine is. Oh my gosh, my 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 week was crazy. So we got home from camping last Monday. And then we turned around Wednesday and went to Kentucky to move my daughter. And There we go. Um, moved my daughter. Um, got her in her new apartment. So we got home yesterday afternoon. And I was uh, decided to go to my craft room like at 10 o'clock last night after I got everything settled. And uh, was in there till 4 o'clock this morning. Went to bed at 4.30. Was back up at 8.30. Um, Crafting some more. So I'm going crazy. I am absolutely going crazy. Uh, the new mini catalog and the celebration. So the mini catalog launched July 1st. I think July 1st. And the, I'm sorry. Yes, July 1st. And the celebration did as well. Celebration is through August 31st. The mini catalog is through January 4th. So the mini catalog's around for six months. Lots of wonderful things in there. If you have not checked it out yet, you'll want to do that. There is one online if you don't have a hard copy. Celebration, in case you don't know what it is. Um, it's for every $50 or $100. There's some $100 items in here too. For every $50 or $100 you spend, you get to pick something free out of this brochure. And um, I'm going to use some items out of it tonight and out of the mini and out of the annual catalog. And we are going to have a ball, I promise you. 
So um, I want to show you some new items in case uh, you haven't seen them. Um, just, just to give you a feel for what we've got going on. And then I'm going to show you the things that I created um, in the wee hours this morning and uh, after I woke up. And then we're going to make a project. And this project is for my sister Sue. She saw the card and I thought, oh, I can probably make that. And yes, someone else made it. Mine's probably going to be a little bit different, but... Um, it's when you um, use someone else's design, whether you copy it exactly or um, change it up a little bit to make it your own, it's called CASE, and it stands for Copy and Share Everything. So yes, we are allowed to copy people's um, projects, unless they ask you not to, but I haven't come across anyone that has said that. Um, that's all part of our creating world is we love to share. And, you know, when you duplicate something I make, um, that's a pretty big compliment to me, but whatever you make, I want you to take pictures and post them. I have yet for someone to do that. And, um, we need, we need you to do that. Just put it in the comment and add the picture and good go. So. Uh, I'm going to point you to my work surface so you can see what I'm going to show you. Oop. And again, my ear pod in my left ear keeps coming out. And no one has given me a suggestion of how I can keep it in there. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know. All right, I'm going to point you down. So we're going to have a little bit of motion. So try to okay so the first thing um, I want to show you is well I've got a whole pile here so I'll just start so these are the flat jingle bell trinkets yes Christmas stuff yes 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 so these are at they are flat on one side so they take adhesive and then they're a jingle bell, um, and they're brass, kind of like a brushed brass, um, very beautiful. And there are 20 of those in this cute little container. So we have those, and... Um, these are actually in the annual catalog, Fabulous Frame Dies, but I just got them, so I wanted to show you what they were because I'm having a feeling they're going to be one of my favorites. So they're different frames, one, two, three different frames, and then a sentiment frame. And then they have these corners too, like, you know, on those photo corners that um, they used to have, um, and each one this this is one plate so it, it will cut oh. well that didn't work very well it will cut all four corners at one time so there's the plain triangle ones and then there's some that are well i can't even lay that back down some that are more decorative but those are some new dies and then, um, I don't want to show you that yet. This is one of the celebration items. Uh, it's got, it's gold and silver paper. And there are 24 sheets in here. And they are um, plain on the back. But there's gold stripe, gold polka dot, silver stripe, and silver polka dot. So these are going to make beautiful wedding cards and projects, um, birthday, anniversary, and of course Christmas. Can't wait to use some of this. Um, I actually saw a card just before, um, like a half hour ago, one of my friends posted it and oh it's so beautiful and it's made with that paper 
Uh, one of the celebration items is this beautiful, wonderful world stamp set with matching paper. All right, you guys, this paper is so gorgeous. So let me show you in the celebration catalog. Uh, it's right there. So when you spend $100, you get the uh, DSP and the stamp set for free. You can't buy it. They want to give it to you. So um, it is a red rubber stamp set. Um, Stampin' Up! has two different kinds of stamps, the red rubber and the clear uh, photopolymer. But I'm going to take this paper out and I'm going to show you. Oh, you guys. So this is um, the colors that are used. And it always tells you the colors on the back, on the supporting poster piece. Uh, Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo, Melon Mambo, Mossy Meadow, Orchid Oasis, Pear Pizzazz, Rich Razzleberry, Sahara Sand, and Starry Sky. So, um, hello, Crystal. Woohoo! I miss you, sweetheart. Okay, so this is the one size, and you get two of each sheet. And this is the other side. And then this is, these are large, but they're to cut out. No, there's no die. It is fussy cutting, but I don't think it will be that difficult. Or you could do an oval, or you could do one of those um, frames that I just told you about and just cut it out. That would be cute. Um, I did see a card. It was a fun fold card made with these, and I'm thinking about doing it. So and then there's the purples on the back. And then here's a oh, beautiful background paper. I love these colors together. They, they're so... Um, Victorian vintage colors. There's some more purple. There's a lot of purple. So if you're not a purple person, this might not be your favorite set. Oh, I love those little flowers. And then here's some you could just cut in an oval. Oh, so beautiful. There's some pink. And those are actually diamond. They look like diamond shaped. And that's the whole paper set. So again, if you want to get this, the only way to get it is for free. And then you get, they'll send it to you or you order, you actually select it when you place your $100 order. So I'm gonna put that back in there to protect the paper. All right. Uh, what else? Um, oh, one more thing I want to show you. So um, this is the Memories and More um, card pack. So let me show you. Where it is in the catalog, and of course, my fingers just went by it. So it's on page 17 of the mini catalog, and you have um, the Santa Express Memories and More card pack, and then you also have the Memories and More cards and envelopes. So the card pack is $12, and the cards and envelopes are $11. So for $23, you can make 20 cards with the matching envelopes plus a whole lot more because of all the extra pieces you get with this. You just have to use your own, um, you'll have to have extra card stock for them. But these are the envelopes. Let me show you. There's a uh, real red and uh, I don't remember what the green is. Isn't that terrible? Nope, it's not going to tell me either. It probably tells me in the book. Um, 
Oh, thank you, Crystal. And um, the red has the red and white stripes, and the green has the polka dots. And then the cards, the green card is that, and that's the card base. So it opens, it can open that way or this way. It doesn't matter, whatever you choose. And the same with the polka dot. I want to leave these out so I can kind of show you what you do with these. So these are the three by four and you can, you know, add embellishments, ribbon, rhinestones, gems, um, whatever you want. Um, and that's the back of them. And you get one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of each of these. Six of them. And then you get that. So you could, you know, put your sentiment on there. And you could pop it up with dimensionals. Wrap ribbon around it. Um, oh, ribbon, ribbon. I just thought of that. Ribbon. There's also... This beautiful red and green ribbon pack uh, that would look great with this. It didn't tell me the color green on that either. And then that's the back side, Merry Christmas. Which, oh, that's pretty. I love green on green, different shades of green. And there goes my earbud again. This is going to happen all night long. I know it. You're soft and then you go loud. Ooh. Your volume is not good. I wonder if I should take my earbuds out. What does it sound like right now? Let me know. And then there's this. And then this, peace and love. And then a little card that you can make a list with. C is for cookies, Christmas, cheer, carols. Anyone else having trouble? Okay, Deb says it sounds good. Hmm. And then these. Oh, I love that Santa. That's the one that you like, Sue, is the Santa. And then that as well. And then have a holly jolly Christmas. Very cute. So those are the three by four. And then these are the four by five and a half, maybe four by, well, let's measure it. Get my clear ruler out. They are, they're four by six, four by six. So again, we have one, two, we have three of each of these. So we have the happy Christmas on one side and polka dots on the other, Christmas trees on one side, and the train on the other, and there is a whole train suite if um, you like Santa and the train and the Polar Express and all that, red diagonal stripes, season's greetings, oh what fun with Mr. and Mrs. Claus. And then polka dots and white area to embellish and put your sentiment. Candy canes. Dear Santa. Let it snow. Oh, let me see what that looks like on the green. Oh, I do like that. <laughs> and then it's just the peach on the other side. 
Then you have these stickers. So you could do an advent calendar. You could um, do a monthly journal. Like a prayer journal. Um, yeah, nice. And then other stickers to embellish with. And then it gives you two pieces of acetate. One says, <laughs> ho, ho, ho. And, oh, three, I'm sorry. And one snowflakes. And one, it's the most wonderful time of year. And look how this looks on that. Isn't that beautiful? Can you see it? Is it in the camera? Yeah. Oh, there's another one. Merry and bright. Oh, I can see making a shaker. Oh, a shaker card with this. With, remember last last week we had, or was it last, two weeks ago, I guess, we had these uh, sequins for the shaker cards. We could put the green in there. Ah. Uh, I tell you, Christmas is going to be wonderful. I used to make the same card for everyone, but then I switched it up last year and made all different kinds of cards, but then I forgot who I sent what to. <laughs> so that didn't work out very well. Then we have these um, laser cut words and snowflakes and stars. Wow. Wow. Um, and it's made out of wood. Um, I'm trying to see if I can get one popped out. Um, I'm sure it's not hard. I'm just being really delicate with it because I don't know. Oh, the joy, the dot is separate. So make sure you don't lose that little dot. Oh, okay. Come on. Come on out of there. There we go. There we go. So then it has the word joy. Nice. And it's not it's not too thick. It's not gonna add, it's the thickness of like a dimensional. So it's um not gonna add a lot of bulk to your card if when you mail it. Happy holidays, peace, winter, wonderland, holly jolly. Very nice. So that's that's the card kit, and then again, you would get the card bases and envelopes, and go from there, and design away. Let your creativity go. Is everyone still there? Because I don't see, I don't see comments coming in. Okay, all right, the next thing I'm going to show you is in the mini catalog, and she is on page... Still here. I'm here. Good, 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 good. On page 57, there's this adorable bundle. It's called Bewitching. And you get the stamps, the stamp set, and the punch that punches out the hat and the stars and a band for the hat. And I want to show you what I created with these. Here's the here's the punch. And here's the stamp set. It is a red rubber stamp set. And the hats are all different um, styles. So I want to show you what they did with those. And the bundle is $34. That's a 10% savings when you buy them together. So um, I cased this from my friend Angie McKay from Canada. 
Uh, she made this on her live last night, and I thought, I could do that. So I used this designer series paper. It's called Black and White because for every design there is, there's a white side and there's a black side, and it's actually gray too. And you can color the gray and the white side if you want to color it. Um, and there's polka dots and there's stripes and there's, um, mm -hmm. what's that called? Harry, not herringbone, zigzag, I don't know. Argyle, stripes, stars. So I've already got into this pack and started using it. And then um, I just punched, uh, stamped these on white cardstock and colored them with my blends. And then I used the washi tape. It's called um, Glitter Washi 4-Pack. And it has pumpkin pie, Old Olive, Highland Heather, and black uh, glitter washi tape. And then on the inside, I just put a white piece because, you know, you wouldn't be able to see what I wrote if I wrote it on black. And then I put the little uh, spider in there too. So that's one card I did. And then I did my first slimline card. So I also case this from our demonstrator's website. And I just, um, so the measurements are eight and a half by seven. And then you score it at three and a half. So that three and a half is half a seven. So that's what makes the card. And then I just stamped the first feet in the middle first so I could position it correctly. And then one on either side. And then the matching hats. And because this hat has a spider web, I put the little spider hanging from her hat. And then I put some stars inside with all three colors. Chevron, yes, that's it. That's it. Yeah, so those were... Those were two that I used with the Bewitching Bundle. And I had so much fun with that. But then the, oh, and then I also made, um, oh, I know I had the stamp set and yes. Stamp set and dies. Um, so in the mini catalog, there's the Trees for Sale stamp set. And let me show you that. So this stamp set is $22. And it's so, so cute. If anyone um, gets their trees, their Christmas tree from a tree lot, this is these are cute cards. Um, thank you, Deb. Um, yeah, so this is the stamp set for $22. But in the celebration catalog... Here it is. If you could see my uh, other table, it is piled. It's so out of control. Um, you can get, when you spend $100, you can get this tree lot dies for free. And it has the camper. Look, look at these. Aren't they darling? And you can so, so copy these if you wanted to. Um, 
So it has the camper, a dog. It's got a Charlie Brown tree, uh, some evergreen, three different sizes, uh, wood, um, a wreath and a bow, flags, lights to, to put on the pole like that. So, so cute. Here's the little Charlie Brown tree. So cute. So what I did with it. Okay, hold on. If you haven't seen my posts on Facebook, you just hold on. <laughs> oh, here we go. Look at this camper. Is it not the cutest? So it's three dimensional. And what you can do is you can put little treats in there or whatever, and you can have it for a um, mm -hmm, place setting. If you're gonna have a card making class or a party, you can put one of these at each of their tables. Oh, so cute. I wonder if it would hold. It holds a glue. <laughs> oh, so cute. Let's see. Does it hold? It holds your uh, mini glue dots. So cute. So cute. What do you think? Jenny. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I know. I know. Isn't it cute? I can't, I can't take credit for it. Um, Actually, uh, someone, um, oh, I don't even remember her name, created it. And I don't even think she's from the U.S., if I remember right. But so cute. And for those of us who camp, just, you can't get enough of this. It is so stinking cute. But then, okay, so then after that, I said, I got to go to bed. It was 4.30. I got to go to bed. So this morning I woke up at 8.30 still thinking about this stamp set and this these dies. And there's no stamping on this. This is all made with the dies. Then I made this card, which again, I cased it. I did put the wreath in the window. I did put the yellow in the window in the window of the door. Um, just so you wouldn't see the paper back here through there. And then the trees, here's the two layers of the tree. So I did them in two different colors. So it stood out trees for sale. I used the basic rhinestones for the lights between the two poles and this vellum, this is the vellum paper back here. The vellum, let me see, it's right here. Gorgeous paper. If you don't have it, I, I hate to tell you, you need it. Um, vellum layering designs. There's 12 sheets, uh, six different designs, two of each design. So I'm going to show you those two. So this one is a lot of writing. Those that, that makes a pretty card. Then we've got the map. And then we've got white writing. And that's in columns. So that would probably show up nice on under black. And I just so happen to have a piece of black paper here. Let's see if I'm right. Yep, there you go. So any dark color, it would show up under there. Okay. All right. And then there's, this looks like a map too, but it's made with white. Instead of the black, here's the black column paper. And then here's the white, just script, um, randomly placed. So the, this paper is gorgeous. And the trick with vellum is you've got to figure out how to attach it without the adhesive showing through the vellum. So obviously I, the piece goes all the way down to here. So I put vellum or adhesive on the back of the vellum to here. 
And then I put two mini glue dots on the back here uh, under these poles. So they're secure there. And that's the car. And this uh, camper, um, so with this camper, I cut it out in white and the accent pieces in red. This one I did all in silver. So it looks like one of those stream, streamlined, no, streamers, streamers, streamers. What are they called? Those campers. Huh. Anyway, that's that card. So I hope you like that. I hope you like those projects. So on to our project for tonight. So tonight we're going to use some 2022-24 in color matte dots. We're going to use a new stamp set that's in the mini catalog. It's uh, Hippo Dyes and Hippist Hippos. Actually, we're not going to use the stamp set, but these are the two that go together. We are just using the dies. And then for a sentiment, I'm, I'm using my go-to greetings, and I'm going to use happy birthday. So, Arrow Stream, is that what it's called? I think you're right, Sue. Okay. I need to put those tree lot dies away. Okay, and put that away. Okay. So, um, we're going to make a um, slimline card. So, you need a full sheet of white cardstock. You need an eight and a half by seven. So, I am going to swing my arm of my paper trimmer out. I don't know if this is in, if you can see or not. No, nope, I want it this way. Whew, I almost cut it the wrong way. Well, for the first time. Right? Anyone who stamps, have you? Airstream. There you go. Airstream. Thank you, Nancy. Knowledge of everything. And then I want to um, score it at three and a half, which is half a seven. That is way too long. I did this wrong. I so did this wrong. I had it cut the right way the first time. I had it in there. The right. So eight and a half by seven. Nobody caught that either. Wait a minute. How did I do this? Where's my slimline card right here? So this is eight and a half. There you go. By seven. There we go. And. Yep. Oh, don't cut. Scored at three and a half. There we go. There we go. We got it. That's our card base. And then we want a piece of white. I probably can use this one. We want it three and a quarter, just a quarter inch smaller by six and three quarters. If not made, oh, that's not right. <laughs> what is my problem tonight? So I want it, I want it eight and a quarter. Eight and a quarter. I just love cutting paper, that's all. By three and a quarter. I know some of you can feel my pain, right? There we go. That fits better. Gosh, I was doing better at 4 o'clock in the morning than I am now. Okay. So I'm going to take my bone folder. 
and I'm going to burnish this edge so that the card stays down. I'll set that aside. I don't need that cut, that wrong cut piece. I don't need that card anymore. All right. So now what I want to do, um, this would fit in the mini. Um, I'll show you. So my mini is right here. This would fit, but I need, oh, you're snipping beans. Ugh. So I need, I need the whole, um, card and it, it's too, it's the plates aren't long enough. So I'm going to use, um, the big Stampin' Emboss machine. It seems like the camera is very, very close to me. I'll try to move it a little farther away. Okay. So here's the big boy. And I'm going to put this on there. And then I need to place my dies from the hippo dies on here exactly how I want them. to appear. And I want them spaced pretty good. Okay. Uh, I think I want to move this down a little bit, this down a little bit. Okay. I think that's good. Okay. Then I'm going to put my other number three plate on here. And then I'm going to run it through. So I'm just going to crank the handle. And static electricity does uh, get the... dies and paper stuck sometimes. Okay. I am done with this machine, so I will put that aside. Then I'm done with all these die pieces, these bits. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Okay. I have two, so my guess is they're all stuck in here. So I want to keep these cutout pieces. I'm going to be very careful not to throw them away. Already missing one. Can you believe that? It's not there. It's not. It's this flower, and I don't see it. Isn't that crazy? Okay, so rather than taking time to look for it, because I don't know where it went. 
two, three, four, five. I'm just going to run a scrap through. Crank that through, and then, 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 and the little flower. All right. Die. Now I got the die. Is it stuck in the die? Oh, the die. Um, no, it wasn't. It wasn't stuck in there. That's the first place I looked because a lot of times they do stick there. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Okay, so I have those bits. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to line this up under here. So I've taken blends. My Stampin' Blends, these are the colors I'm going to use. So it's Pumpkin Pie, Bermuda Bay, Highland Heather, Real Red, Parakeet Party, and Night of Navy. Um, the Bermuda Bay and the Night of Navy are light, the rest of them are dark. So under, I'm actually gonna open this up because if these bleed, I don't want them to go onto my card. Okay. So under the mask, the swimmer's mask, I'm going to color orange. So I'm just going to do this. It's like hit or miss, you know? So there's the orange, the pumpkin pie, and that's the dark pumpkin pie. Now I'm using the light Bermuda Bay. Using the dark Highland Heather. goes up high. I think I'm going to color it down a little bit too. Okay. Then the next I'm using the dark real red. Dark Parakeet Party.
and then the light knight of navy. Okay, awesome. And then I'm going to pop these up with dimensionals. And this pie will take, I don't know, a few, because it's a slimline card. This is my second slimline card. Oh my goodness. All right. Dimensionals, if you don't know, they're sticky on both sides and they just peel off this uh, wax paper and you stick them onto your project and then you peel off the backing, which exposes this other sticky side. And then you can adhere it to your project. And they're called dimensionals because they give your card or project dimension. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to take all our little bits. This is going to be fun because we're going to use the mono liquid glue, the Tombow, or sometimes we call it the green glue. And we're going to take all these little white pieces and it doesn't take a lot of glue. That's probably too much on there. What we're doing is we're adding these bits, these shapes, back in there and doing white on white. And again, you don't want too much. Glue. then you have a mess. Sorry if I'm not talking, I'm concentrating. <laughs> uh, some people ask me, Helena, are you mad? I'm like, no, why? You're not talking, because I always talk. Oh boy, I just got a lot on there. Wipe some of that off. Okay. But apparently when I craft, I concentrate a lot. So, um, try if you had tweezers, these would work. It would work. Actually, I think I have a pair of tweezers. I just don't know where right now. Oh, wow, this little splash, this little drop of water. It is little. Are you guys all crafting along with me? I hope so. Well, Dev snipping beans. 
Oh, I love fresh beans. Absolutely love them. All right. And then I want to take my sentiment and I'm going to do happy birthday. And I think I'm going to do a little one because this card actually, this, the, this ended up being bigger than what I thought it would be. Or I could say hello. That would be cute. Hello. Oh my gosh, here we go again. Hello. It's me. <laughs> Didn't we have that same thing? There must be another hello stamp that I used last week. Because I remember the same conversation. Okay. So, I should have, I'm sorry, I should have showed you how to do this. So, when you have the red rubber stamp, I'll do another one. Um, you, uh, oh, that one I already did. Let's do this one. This one says thank you, and it has a uh, backing, so you just peel this off, and it exposes that gray spongy part. And this says, um, thank you. So then you got to find your thank you on here, and it's right here. So it's split in two halves. So you peel that off, and you peel that side off. And then you put your, you match it up, and you lay it. This, this part is very, very sticky. And once it's stuck, it is stuck. You can't change it. So you want to be very careful that you line it up the first time. So we put it right on there. And it's easier to do it this way than peel it off and then try to stick it on the rubber. And then there you go. Just, just like that. Easy peasy. Okay, so we're using the hello. Um, I should have stamped it. Um... I think I'm going to stamp it right on here. And I think I'm going to stamp it in black. So again, uh, I learned a trick from my friend Angie McKay in Grand, Rap Grand Rapids, Canada. It ain't Grand Rapids. It's north, but it's a lot farther north than Grand Rapids. Um, she always says that with the red rubber, there's a film on it. And the company says to do this. The, there's a film on the rubber. So you take your sanding block and you just go over it a little bit just to get that off. And then you'll get a better um, impression when you use your stamp. So I'm using the Memento Tuxedo Black. I'm going to stamp it on a scrap piece first to make sure I like it. Oh, and I love it. So I'm going to stamp it again. And you just have to tap, tap, tap. You don't have to, you know, like, push it in there and because then you'll get ink all over your stamp and you don't want to do that. So I'm going to do it right here where there's no dimensional. Oh, my gosh. You guys, sing it early night. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to hear me sing. I love to sing, but I'm not very good at it. Um, I've never done karaoke. Um, have you guys all done karaoke before? Who's done karaoke? I want to see hands. Well, not hands, but comments. Who's done it? Come on and tell me what you sang. I know my sister Sue sang Elvira at my wedding in karaoke. Her and my sister Sharon. Randy and I had already left, so we missed it. Oh, advice to anyone who's not married that's going to get married. That's This is the advice I give them. Don't ever leave before the reception's done. You miss a lot, and there's no reason to leave early. Okay, so now I'm going to use the in-color matte dots. 
because it's still a little plain. Oh, look at all those beautiful dots. And I'm going to take my, take my pick tool. It's got putty on the end. Okay, I'm going to put a dot there. Uh, a dot there. And of course, some little ones here. Maybe I'll do a little one here. Oh, and then well, it just kind of red. Actually, I guess that sweet sorbet. Purple. We'll do some of this here. But why am I putting all the got a different end. I'm going to lift that up. No. Come on. And I'm going to put the, the bigger one down here because I got all the big ones going across the top. Okay. And then, oof, some... So I guess this should have been Tahitian Tide and Starry Sky, Starry Sky and o Orchid Oasis. That's okay. Oh, that one left its. If the putty um, gets thin, you can just push it back together again and pick, um, yeah. I'm going to do a couple of those. Well, that added a lot to it, didn't it? One time, love shack, baby. <laughs> oh, Sue. Who else? Anybody else? Come on. Okay. So there's our card. What do you think? It looks very summery, I think. What do you think? Anybody? Anybody? Oh, I'm getting hearts. Yay! Sue loves it. Aw, oh, Nancy's pretty. Yay. Nancy, I'll be in the studio Thursday. I have to go to Ann Arbor tomorrow for a doctor's appointment, so I won't be in the studio tomorrow. But, yes, it, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. I wasn't sure about coloring behind and if I would be able to do it, but I did. But see on the other side? See on the inside? I guess we could put a white piece over that, but that's going to add more weight to it. I don't know if that would make a difference. Um, and this fits in a business number 10 envelope. So, um, so cute. So, so cute. All right. I'm going to point you back up to me. Hello. Unfortunately, I won't be. You won't be in the office or in the studio tomorrow? Thank you, Jenny. Isn't that cute? Anyone who loves summer, I tell you. I tell you. Mm. Um, why won't you be at the studio tomorrow? Or shouldn't I ask online? You can tell me. Oh, you won't be there Thursday. Right. Yeah, I know. It didn't. It just didn't work out, and unfortunately, I had to take this appointment that they gave me because I can't wait, so um, I had to do it. But anyway, so does anyone have any questions for me? 
You like what you see? Did you like all the new things? Ooh, I love all the new things. Um, I'm so excited. I, I just want to play in here. I, I haven't even had dinner. I didn't even make dinner yet tonight for my family. Isn't that terrible? Well, <laughs> priorities, you know, crafting is a priority. So anyway, um, I'm planning on still doing another Facebook Live on Thursday. Yes, my wish list is $450. <laughs> Tell Mike you need his credit card. <laughs> uh, yes, I have one customer. She put in a, a pretty good order, and I so appreciate it. I I just I can't thank you guys enough for supporting me. It... Um, makes my heart happy. So, um, I do plan on still coming on Thursday. So, um, at seven again. So, um, don't, don't think because I came tonight, I'm not going to be there Thursday. So other than that, um, think of something good to, to share with you and we'll have fun again in two days. In the meantime, have a good day. Good, good night. And have a great day tomorrow, and I'll see you on Thursday. Love you guys. Bye.